Okay, this will be question number one of a complete GED practice test. And for the first five questions, you are not allowed to use a calculator. So uh, just be aware of that. So we'll, we won't use a calculator on the first five, but uh, maybe we'll use it on the other ones. So, okay, in problem number one, we've got Mike, and he borrowed $400 from his brother for a period of six months. He agreed to pay simple interest at the annual rate of 5%. And including the interest in the principal, we want to know how much will Mike have paid his brother at the end of six months. So, okay. One thing, again, on the GED is you'll be given a formula sheet. And one of the formulas that you'll be given will be for simple interest. And this is the formula. It says I equals P times R times T. I stands, again, for the interest earned. P stands for the principal, and all the principal is, that's the starting amount, that's the amount that you borrow, for example. R is going to be the rate, and I'm going to put that in the form of a percent, and T is going to be time. Okay, in this case, the interest, that's what we're trying to determine here. Okay, the principal, okay, the amount he borrows at the beginning, well, that's $400. The rate, okay, well, a rate of 5%, you can write that in a few different ways. 5%, we can write that as a fraction, as 5 over 100, or as a decimal, we can write that as 0 0.05. So however you want to write it, um, I said I was going to write it as a decimal, or excuse me, as a, a um, yes, as a decimal, but I've changed my mind. I'm actually going to write it using the fraction form, and you'll see why in just a second. T is time, okay, so time is measured in years. So six months is going to be one half of a year. So six months, that's going to be one half of a year. So we're going to multiply all this by one half. So now we simply have to do the arithmetic. Okay, so I can write 400 as 400 over 1. Now I'm going to simplify, so I can uh, think about common factors. So I've got a 400 in the numerator and a 100 in the denominator. I could divide um, 100 by 100 and also the numerator by 100. So 400 divided by 100, that's going to leave me with... 4. I've still got the 5. The denominator will now become a 1. And I'm going to multiply that by 1 over 2. So 4 times 5, that's 20. Again, on the denominator, 1 times 1 times 2 will be 2. 20 divided by 2 is going to be 10. So that's the interest that he had to pay. So the total amount repaid the total amount repaid, it's going to be the initial amount that, that he borrowed, which was the $400, plus the interest, which is $10. So he's going to repay in total $410. So maybe let me uh, rework this one slightly different. Let me use it as a... Let me also keep it in decimal form. So 5%, that's 0.05 times one-half. Maybe you would rather do it this way instead of using fractions. So just a different way to do it. So I'm going to multiply 400 by 0.05. So 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 4, that's going to be 20. And then 0 times uh, 0 or 0 and 4, that's just going to give me a bunch of zeros. So if I add that together, um, I'm going to get 2, 0, 0, 0, and again, I've moved the decimal place two places to the left because I've got two decimal places um, in my, uh, my decimal 0.05. Okay, so that says the interest is going to equal 20.00 multiplied by 1 half. Well, again, 20.00, that's just 20 multiplied by 1 half. 
Again, 20 multiplied by a half is going to give us a, a, a value of 10. So again, that's the same way. We got the interest a second ago being 10. So just another way to, to compute that by hand. So again, once we include the original principal, we're going to get that the amount repaid is going to be $410.